Hey, what's good everybody? What's good? What's good? Hope everybody doing safe out there. This is episode three, learn how to bake with your boy Steve. Now today, we'll keep it real simple, all right? So, as you see, I got two crusts again. I got everything already mixed up this go around. I think y'all know what it is. But just in case y'all don't, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You get your Philly cream cheese, get three. Don't try and be cheap and get the store brand. It's gonna be fucking disgusting. I'm watching my language, I ain't cussing there, y'all. And then, you take three eggs, you put them in here, you take three fourths of sugar, mix it all up, blend it all together, and then you're good. So, I'm gonna make a cherry cheesecake out of this, and I'm gonna make an Oreo cheesecake out of this. And I'm gonna show you how I normally do that. So, I'm gonna put this in here, fill this up, a little bit in here, enough to cover the bottom. Now, y'all probably like, what the hell is he doing? I'm gonna explain that to y'all in a second after I'm done mixing all this. So, I usually just cover the bottom layer. And what I do, when I make Oreo cheesecake, I like to make sure everybody get a good bang for their buck. I take Oreo, I put one right down here in the middle, and then I put Oreos around inside. Now you can use half for the whole thing, just go around. I'm gonna use the whole thing. So now, you see you got Oreos in the middle. I'm trying to make sure you get your money's worth whenever I make some for people. And then, I'm gonna put some more in there. Make sure that don't hit the floor. I'm gonna stir this over top of it. And you won't even know the Oreos in the middle. I'm gonna add a little bit more cheesecake right here. So now, voila, you don't need nothing. So now that I got this done, it's all covered up. I'm gonna take the rest of this filling. I'm gonna make sure I add it all in here. And for this one, I'm gonna do a cherry cheesecake and it's real simple. After I let both cheesecakes in the oven for a good, what, 30 to 35 minutes, I normally do 32 on 350. After these done, I'm gonna let them sit, of course, in the refrigerator again for a good two hours, sometimes an hour and a half if you're impatient. And then I'm gonna take a can of cherries, you know what I mean, that I got from Food Line. And I'm not saying Food Line just because I used to work there. I don't, don't think I'm promoting them. Um, I'm gonna take a can of cherries from there because they're the best. And then I'm gonna put it on top of this cheesecake. And then for the Oreos, when I take this out of the oven, I'm going to put Oreos, I'm going to take half of it, and I'm going to cover it on top, and I'm put some dustings with it. Now, you can use whipped cream or not use whipped cream, but that's your preference. So now, I'm about to put these in the oven, and as y'all just heard, the timer ding, perfect timer. So, give me a little while, I'll give y'all part two and show y'all how to decorate. Gotcha. So, here's the last part on how to make cherry cheesecake, how to make Oreo cheesecake. I'm going to do cherry first, cherry real simple. It's not even about to take me some seconds. All you going to do... Take the pie filling, like I did with the strawberry one that day. It's already cherries in here, but if you're real fancy and you big money like that baller, go get you some real cherries. Put it up there. I'm not doing that. I'm cheap. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm very, very cheap. At least with myself. But yeah. So after that, make sure it's covered up completely. Bang. There's your cherry cheesecake. Only a few select people actually. Call me for it, but hey, it's all good. Now, we do Oreo one. Now that it's all cooled off, this go around. I'm gonna add chocolate sauce, some whipped cream. So I'm gonna chocolate sauce first. Spray that in the middle, and it will come. Cover it like this, cause I want to drown it. I don't want to get nobody diabetes. And I found them covering it like that. Take the whipped cream. I'm going to put it slightly over each Oreo. And as I go along, there we go. And I'm going to put this in the middle right there. And then again, I'm going to take an Oreo. I'm going to break it in half. I like putting dustings up there. I don't know if it tastes good because I don't eat Oreo. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but 
I think it looks pretty, so I do it. And plus, female like pretty things, so I do it for y'all. I'm not even lie to y'all. Other than that, I don't like bacon. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I just know how to do it. So, as it gets smaller, some people like theirs completely covered, some people like theirs drenched. Nah, I don't want nothing to overpower nothing else. So, there you go. You got your Oreo cheesecake right there. Sometimes, I don't even put it with bread. I make different designs with Oreo each time. You can do like 40 different designs. It's your preference, mini Oreos, whatever. So, the next go around, I'm pretty sure y'all probably tired of me making cheesecake because everybody has a cheesecake lover. So, for y'all brownie lovers, I'm gonna try and make like white bro chocolate brownies or maybe strawberry brownies. I could make chocolate brownies, but let's be serious. Go grab a box. But, if y'all want me to make that, I'll make that. You know, a couple of things I do. Hopefully sooner or later, I'm gonna get my partner. He should be able to make some chicken videos for y'all and other stuff. But right now, y'all stuck with me, so I'm making y'all cheesecake. But till next time, appreciate y'all. Y'all be safe. Holla at me.